must be on the wrong side. <laughs> this, message, Which one? this message is definitely for you tonight. <laughs> and stuff, cause it's just, you never know. It's just like John said about people. You know, you can't, like that say, you can't judge them by, by the, uh, that book, that cover. Yeah, it's on that book. book it's, you start, start flipping through some of them pages, you find that there's a lot of bad stuff in there. You know, I just been, uh, uh, you know, we, um, just apologize we didn't get to come last last month because we had a situation with, with a, a, a property, uh, a home that I ran out and stuff. And, and uh, it's just been a battle trying to get it back, back to where it's, because we just try to give the, uh, someone a, a place to stay, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to help, do something good to help people, but it seems like sometimes, you know, that's how it is, that they'll just run over you, you know, take advantage of you, you know, and people don't care no more, you know, uh, and stuff, and uh, it's just, uh, it's like at work and stuff, I, I've been, I'm back in school again. <laughs> I had, I've been working the back to school stuff, and it, it's, uh, I tell the man, I said, man, I've been out of school for 40 something years. I'm, the, <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with this. <laughs> and stuff. But uh, I, I had this message and stuff, and I, you know, uh, it's always good breath. You know, the guy, he, he gives you something, and it, 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 it's always good. And stuff. Uh, and uh, the title of tonight for this message was uh, The Voice That Made Your Way and Faith That Made The Whole. Amen. Amen. It's about being whole, you know, and stuff. And, and it's, uh, there's a wholeness for the body itself, you know, because we don't want to be sick and we don't want to, because uh, if we're sick, there's not much good we can be for others, you know, because how can we be the one that, that goes to, to, into the hospitals and into the highways and the byways and be able to uh, touch people if we're the ones always sick. And God don't want us sick. God don't want us feeble and, and not being able to uh, be able to get around and be able to do the things that He wants us to do. And you know, and so uh, the, uh, the opening scripture would be out of the book of Mark, the 10th chapter. Like I say, we appreciate y'all allowing us to come and do the music and, and do this, uh, uh, deliver some of this word and stuff. And, and uh, good to God be God, the honor and glory, you know, for all things. That's the reason we do it. Mark 10. And stuff. Mark 10. Uh -huh. And 46. And said that came to Jericho, and as he went out of uh, Jericho with his disciples, a, a great number of people, uh, blind Bartimaeus and the son of the son of Timaeus, sat, uh, sat by the highway uh, uh, side begging. And when he had heard it uh, was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, saying, "Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me." And many charged him that he should uh, hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. He heard that voice. He heard him coming. Yeah. And I said, if we have our spiritual ears open tonight, we will hear him coming. Yeah. We will have not just the scene coming, but we'll have, hear him coming. And that's what we... We, we have to have those uh, open up our spiritual senses today so we recognize that voice and recognize him, his voice because he says, my sheep know my voice. Mm -hmm. you know, my people won't be called sheep and they sure don't want to be called goats. <laughs> but some of them ain't even worthy to be goats. Going on time. <laughs> but praise the Lord, you know, and, and that's what... You know, I, I started thinking about this, you know, because, you know, he, here's this man, he's blind, you know, he's had to feel his way through life, you know, and, and stuff, and that's what, the, that's pretty much people are today, they're spiritually blind, yes. 
That's what it says there. They're, they have Amen. blinders on. They can't see what's right there in front of them. Everything, the fullness of God is right there, but they just can't get it. They can't touch it. They can't feel it because they have these spiritual, uh, their, their uh, spiritual senses are totally blind and numb. They don't. They don't. They don't know what what uh, uh, what's uh, right there. God has put before them, but they just don't want to receive it. It says, our point says one says when we use our spiritual ears, the uh, spirit of the Lord will will guide our way to Him, and that's what He's 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 just know He was there, and we, if He get close, just like the, the woman that that that, uh, that uh, she just knew if she touched Him. She would be healed because she probably heard, you know, the, the great stories of him throwing around, you know, healing people and to, and, and people being, uh, you know, miraculously healed of all kinds of different things and, and stuff because there was nothing like that at that time, you know, you know, you, you know, and if you got to, to a certain point of sickness, you was discarded, you know, they put you there at a certain place in the city, they they run them out, you know, the leopards and stuff. They let they ran them out. They had to have them in their own certain place. You know, they would, you know, people just didn't uh, uh, have the compassion that, and stuff at, at that time. You know, they didn't have, they have you know, it was a, a, you know, a dog eat dog world. And it's, that, and it's becoming that way now. You know, you know, it's just it's just people just discard you once you get to that certain point. Point, you know, where you, you know, the elderly and the, and the sick, the sick people are. are or people that you know uh, can't do for the self, but God wants us to you know uh, uh, have compassion. We have to have that capacity. He had it for us. He took those stripes on his back, and it, it, he was uh, he humbled himself and and, and, and gave uh, all of it for us. Amen. Amen. It says the power of God, and that's what we've been. She, it's funny how she just come up with the power, you know, and, and stuff of the power. Of, it says the power of God is released through the, the uh, 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 workings of, of our faith. You know, by faith. You know, that's when that pay, that power rises up. It's in you, but it don't rise up not unless you not unless you you start stirring it with your faith. And Amen. that's what he he had uh, uh, he had the faith to to uh, to to push ahead and push forward, trying to get to Jesus. And stuff, you know, where, where, you know, you know, a lot of people once they get Jesus, it's okay. We got that Jesus. <laughs> I'm all right now. <laughs> and that's it. Let's sit down. <laughs> you can't sit down. That's the that's time it. to get in the mood. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a work to be done. He says you'll be doing greater works. You know, it's not a sit down time. And, and you know, let's, let's uh, 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 call it quits. It's not calling it quits. It's, 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 that's, the, that's the starter gate of the race. You know, <laughs> yeah. you, go, you, you have to, you have to get to be uh, motivated. Now point three says, the point of faith and believing moves God in the working of the faith in us to destroy the works of the devil. Because that's what Jesus said. He came to, uh, 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 to destroy those, those, those works of the devil. Because the devil working 24-7. He don't, he don't sleep or slumber. You know, he's, he's, he's going all the time. You know, he, he's not, he's not, uh, he, when he ain't working on you, he's working on somebody else. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of Christians, so he's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Because he said, he said he, he, it's only for a short season, and God's going to put, put a, uh, going to bind him and put him in that pit and stuff, and, you know, and, then, and uh, you know, and, and stuff, and, you know, the, the people, you know, um, I hear about all this, all this heat in there. The first thing they said, man, it's, it's hot as hell. No, you just don't have, you, 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 don't, you don't know. This is just, this ain't even a sample of how hot it's going to be, you know, and stuff. And so, you know, they, uh, 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 you know, they don't, they're so, because uh, 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 they don't have enough word in them to understand what God is doing. This, the seasons are changing because things are changing in the world. You know, uh, you know, there's a, you know, you see all this stuff about the uh, 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 Greenpeace and all this here, where, 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 and stuff. It's just like this eclipse. You know, uh, how things are changing and the seasons. Like we was talking about the other day. You know, summer is so short. 
just like she, the birds say, where did summer go? You know, you know, it just seemed like because uh, you're already almost uh, August for it, for it says summer begins. <laughs> you know, it was already you know, and and uh, but you know, I love I love the fall and I love the, I love the spring. You know, because I like to see the changing seasons of the season. You know, because that's the that's the. Um, the uh, majesty and the beauty of God when you see the, ch the trees changing. Yeah. You see them thinning out. Things are thinning out right now, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. And the trees, the leaves start turning and, and things start changing. And, you know, and that's what God, in that, God wants us to make changes in us daily and stuff. And that's through His Word. That's how, that's where it's going to start to change. Is in, in, in when, when our spiritual senses are being more horned to, and, 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 and pruned and, and, uh, to his, to his, uh, what he wants us to do and how he wants us to, to be before the world. Because it's about us, how we present ourselves out here in this world. You know, we can, people can put up on all kinds of fake, fake little uh, 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 things in the church. But you get out of there in the world, God, God's watching you see how you act. Amen. You know, Amen. Who's, when somebody steps on your toe, how, how, how you jump. <laughs> and what comes out your mouth? <laughs> That's the main thing. What well, what come out that that the holes he gave you that, that mouth <laughs> and stuff and uh, but uh, point uh, four says we have uh, to have us all the weapons of warfare that God has given us, His Word, His, his Spirit, and that measure of faith He put in us before we uh, work and that if. Uh, I also want to go to uh, Matthew 14:36. I didn't mark it. <laughs> I think I took all the marks, the mark, my markers out. 13:26 says, "But when the uh, oh 14:36." <laughs> 14.36 says, And he besought him that that they might only touch the hem of his garment, as many as touched were made perfectly whole. And that's what we're talking about. Uh, faith that made thee whole. And you know, that's why I the, the woman, she, t she just knew she, if she touched him, and he said the, he felt the virtue that was in him uh, go out of him and, and, and into her. And, she, and, she, and then he just told her, you know, go thy way. And may be made whole. He always told him, you know, when he touched him, you know, just be whole, because he because you know he wants us to be uh, uh, living vessels for him, and so that he can continue to fill us with the things that he needs in us, and because because you know, uh, and then we should be out there emptying out so we can get filled again, and that's why we come to church is so we can come and get filled. And that's what we're here tonight to be filled with His Word, and then get something to, to be served, and, and and be able to get something in us so that we can go out in, in this midweek and, and and finish out our week and be back here in, in Sunday and Sunday nights and stuff. And just like John was been talking, how sometimes it just seems like it just more and more people falling away from from what they actually need. You know, you know, this is like. He, Filling up on junk food, not really going to, to get the real stuff. You know, That's they right. just want to be spiritual junkies. You know, <laughs> they don't they Amen. don't want to get into the, to what God the real meat. You know, it says those those are they're still being weaned on the milk instead of the bread right. and, the, and and stuff and the meat. That's what he is. He, he said he was the the bread. You know, and his the, his body was broken for us. You know, when you take communion, you break that bread, and that's what it is. That's the breaking of his body. When he took those stripes, that he was he was broken for us. And and, and when you drink that, when you drink that the, the little cup of, of serving, it's, 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 that represents his blood, his spirit, his blood. That that's what it runs through our veins. It, it's our Amen. spirit. It's the essence of what we are. And his his blood in us is what it, it, it makes us what, what makes us righteous. Amen. Not our own righteousness. We can't do nothing to be right. We are we, our faith makes us right. Our faith believing that he in us and us being uh, 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 allowing him to abide in us. That's what makes us righteous. 
It says, um, point five, sitting on uh, or, or laying down our sword uh, uh, will not win the battle. And, and, or, and he says, uh, uh, say to uh, uh, stand and uh, see the salvation of the Lord. That's out of Exodus. He was told him, you know, because they were so feared, you know, because they were coming in the wilderness out of the, you know, he brought them through the wilderness and they were still, they were still in fear. They looked and seen the, seen the Pharaoh and them still coming, you know, and so they had, they still had those fears, you know, and he had to tell them, he, 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 you know, just see that and I see that I was, I, I will uh, 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 deliver you out of the hands of, uh, of the, uh, the Egyptians, you know, because in, in that's what people are falling into now, the hands of the, 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 the enemy. And, and that's what it's talked to. Christ said, you know, uh, he could come and destroy those works. Because <clears throat> people still fall, fall back. They, they get saved, but yet they, they still believe they, they, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, that they can do it all on their own. And you can't do it on your own. That's why we have to set fellowship with other believers, get together with other believers, be here at the church. And, and be with those that can help pray, and do the prayers and stuff. Because the prayers of the saints, they said, there's none go unanswered. God, God had it. He's, he says he never sleeps or never slumbers. So he's always hearing our prayers, even if when we think they're not heard. Amen. You know, or we think, that, well, I just didn't get the right answer. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I just don't believe that's the right answer. That's like I was telling that that boy when he got before the judge. He's the judge is telling this the law, and he's like, that just can't be the law. He says, well, son, that is the law, because I'm the judge. <laughs> and when I say you that's the law, that's the law. <laughs> yeah. And God's a righteous judge, and God's given us those, you know, he's, 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 he's the mover and the, and the stirrer. He, 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 he's, in, he's in control. People think he's not in control. God is always in control. Amen. You know, but when we thought, think, well, you know, this, this just can't be, you know. Uh, point six says the glory of God follows after the flow of our faith by Jesus' authority in the na in the name uh, the uh, in heavens and in earth. You know, because that's what he said. You know, uh, that no name. Uh, Isaiah he prophesied there'd be no 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 name. You know, other than than him, because the, 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 uh, everything is a, was was established in, on him and stuff. Because you know there was no uh, uh, greater sacrifice. At that time, you know, because they, when they went into the temples and, and the temples uh, sacrifices, they they become a, 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 a no value. You know, they had to be a, one that would come and and, 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 and deliver us from all these things, and that was to Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, not not Buddha, not not Muhammad. Those those things came after. <laughs> People don't understand. They didn't come before. They came after. That's right. You know, he was he was the, he said. Uh, he was the Word, and it was the Word made flesh, and stuff. And says Jesus said, "It is it is finished on the cross, uh, 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 rehearsed, uh, releasing healing and salvation forevermore and everlasting, and then commanded a, a decree of His own of blood atonement." Because when He said it was finished, that was Him decreeing that it's, it's over. You know. Whatever you need, it's, 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 it's all the wholeness and the, and the full package is, is, is there and available. And just like tonight, if anybody had, had, had a, a, something they needed to bring to this offer, you know, that's what it's about. It's because uh, it's having uh, these saints pray for them and, and, and stuff. But I just uh, put this together and, and uh, like I say, it's about that voice. That, that, uh, made your way, and, you know. Like I said, he, even though he was blind, he still had he still had that drive and uh, to, uh, uh, that eagerness to, to, to know that if he just get get to God and get to get to Christ, that you know that his that his faith would make him whole. Amen. Amen. And I got this little joke here. <laughs> I, I I might have told this one before, but anyway, it's a good one. But. <laughs> It's called juggling. It said a state trooper pulls two cars over for weaving on the interstate. When the trooper asked the first driver why he was speeding, uh, speeding, uh, weaving all over the road, the driver sa said he was a, a magician and a juggler and was on his way to, to Texas to do a show for the Shrine uh, Circus. He didn't want 
and he didn't want to be late. The trooper told the driver he was fascinated by juggling and said that the driver would do a little juggling for him. He wouldn't, he, he wouldn't give him a ticket and he told the trooper uh, he had uh, uh, sent his equipment ahead and didn't have anything to juggle. The trooper said he had some flares in the trunk and asked if he could uh, juggle them and the juggler, the juggler said, uh, said he could so the trooper got five flares lit them and handed to them. <laughs> While the man was chugging, the man in the second car, because he pulled both two cars, the uh, drunk uh, good old boy got out, watched the performance, then went over to the trooper's car, opened the door, the rear door, got in, and the trooper was there to get in, the, in his car, and he went over to, to him and, said, and opened the door and asked the drunk what he thought he was doing. The drunk replied, said, you might as well take me to jail because there ain't no way I could pass that kind of test. <laughs> 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 he would sit down and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.